A real pea super out there, huh? Oh no. Now's when you curl up in a ball and just cry. Hello. Welcome on back to You, Me, and the Movies. We have a fresh recruit. <laughs> fresh recruit? Fresh? <laughs> we got a fresh request today. Marcus. Marcus. Granddaddy Marcus picked up another scary movie for us to watch. The Others. Mm-hmm. Alejandro Amnabar's The Others. Uh, he mentions the director in here. He says, as you liked the Conjuring series so much, he oh. requests you to watch The Others. Great. She will surely love it. Oh, Marcus, you know me so well. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, gosh, if I like The Conjuring, I'm going to like The Others. Yeah. Super. If I hated The Conjuring, I guess that means it's going to be a fun night, huh? Mm-hmm. Can't wait. I know it's got Nicole Kidman in it. Yeah. Is there anything else you know about it? Uh, I vaguely remember the movie cover with Nicole Kidman and maybe like a couple other women or something. Like, I don't know, creepy, so I never watched it. Yeah, I think this is a period piece. Oh, really? As well, so. I've seen it. I like it's the period been a long, piece. I, I saw it like the year it came out, so it was like 2002 or something like that. Yeah, do you know anything else about it? That I don't, to? other than it's scary. I mean, I know about it. I just... All right. I think you know enough. All right. I guess we better... Should get, we jump in? Let's do it. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, and subscribe. Come hang out. We're watching Scary tonight. Mm -hmm. and check out our Patreon link down below if you want to be like Marcus and request a movie we have to watch. Or if you want early access, full length commentaries, access to our polls to help us pick what we watch next, and more. The link's down below. Check it out. Let's watch the others. Here we go. Jersey, the Channel Islands. Okay. Night Terror. That was an intense scream. Yes? Good morning, ma'am. We've come about the... Oh, yes, of course. Come in. I wasn't expecting you so soon. You are. I'm Bertha Mills, ma'am, and this is Edmund Tuttle. Pleased to meet you, ma'am. You must be the gardener. Oh, don't let that angel face fool you, ma'am. She's older than she looks. 123. As you can see, the housework has been rather neglected since the servants disappeared almost a week ago. You mean they just vanished? What now? <laughs> Into the air. No, no, they just left us. What a strange thing. So she's killing people in her dreams and she doesn't know it or something? The kitchen. I have breakfast at eight. The children at nine. Why are we locking the doors? You all notice what I'm doing. In this house, no door must be opened without the previous one being closed first. It is vital that you remember this. It's not as easy as it may seem. From tomorrow onwards, I will be leaving a set of keys in your charge. Yes, ma'am. Silence is something that we prize very highly in this house. And there's really no need to show us around the whole house. Yes. Please. Yes, there is. Because here, most of the time, you can hardly see your way. It's often difficult to make out if there is a table, a chair, or one of my children playing hide and seek. What do you mean, ma'am? Perhaps I should introduce you to the children. Are they ghosts? What? What's happening? <laughs> to the garden now. We'll find tools in the shed. Yes, ma'am. Wait till she closes the door to leave. You two could start closing the curtains. All of them. It's one thing to ha like close them. Why are we locking them? Why are we drawing the curtains to meet the children? Oh God, <laughs> Marcus. My little demon children. I don't like where this is headed. Whatever you do, don't open the curtains. Are they vampires? They're still half asleep. What sweet little children. The children have a very serious allergy to light. They are photosensitive and they must never be exposed to any light much stronger than this. Otherwise, in a matter of minutes, they will break out in sores and blisters and... and begin to suffocate. 
You think it's true, or you think mom's just a loony? I don't know. What do you think? I want to say mom's just a loony. I tried. Just like daddy. Daddy is coming back, though. No, because your mom killed him. He's probably in the basement somewhere. Are you going to leave us, too? Not today. The others said they wouldn't, but they did. And then it happened. Be quiet. What do you mean, Anne? Mummy went mad. Nothing happened. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. What's going on? I want to see those plates empty in less than a minute. Is that clear? You know, a big house like this is always in need of someone who knows the ropes. You mean you've served in a house like this one before? This may come as a surprise to you. That exact house? We, in fact, used work here. It was a few years ago. Well, that is always assuming that the walls haven't sprouted legs and moved in the meantime. Yeah, they maybe did. But it changes everything. It's going to be hard to kidnap them and keep them locked in the basement when they know their way around the house better, huh? It did happen. Mommy went mad. Ugh. So you both would have lied to the point of denying Christ. Oh, you'd have saved your heads being chopped off by the Romans, that's true. But you go straight to hell when you do die. There's the hell where the damned go. Then there's purgatory. Yeah. And the bosom of Abraham yeah. where the just go. And limbo where children go. At the center of the earth. Where it's very, very hot. I don't know of these four hells. I don't like that. <laughs> Well, if you see a ghost, you say hello, and you continue on studying. And <laughs> all right, Anne. Why can't they have more than one door open at a time? They keep them from going into a room without light. Would it not be easier to see that light was entering a room if you had the door open? Should I be expecting, like, jump scares? I can't remember. Nicholas! Oh. Shut the door, lady. It's your rule. Nicholas! What's the matter? Why were you crying? I wasn't crying. I was reading. But I just heard you... Great little ghost crying. I don't. If I'd been crying, I'd tell you. Oh, really? So I imagined it, did I? <laughs> no, it was that boy. What boy? I know. Victor. Vic Victor? I told him to let me study, but he wouldn't stop crying. But Haunted house. But I've just come from the hall. There's no one there. They must have gone upstairs. They're viewing the house. That'll do, Anne. That's enough. Would you mind telling me how a boy can get in and out of this room if it's locked? Oh, This house is like a ship. The light must be contained as if it were water by opening and closing the doors. My children's lives are at stake. But, Mum, I, I do just don't feel like that's how that works. And then I went out into the garden. You saw me with your own eyes. I hope you were not suggesting that it was me. No, it was Victor. Duh. We got a little cuckoo ka happening. <laughs> Did you really see a boy? Yes, he's called Victor. Is he a ghost? Don't be stupid. Ghosts aren't like that. What are they like? I've told you a thousand times. They go about in white sheets and carry chains. How do you know? Because I've seen them. They come out at night. Fibber, where? I don't like a haunted house. Come out from behind that curtain so my stupid brother can see you. Oh, please don't. Please don't. <gasps> hey, Corumba. Leave me alone. <gasps> That's enough, Victor. That 
damn it. Was that her doing it again? I'm not a fan of whatever's happening. Think to touch his cheeks, I know you're real. God sent him forth from the Garden of Eden. Jesus, I hate it when they <laughs> little kids. <laughs> was it a ghost or was it the sister playing a trick on her brother? No, did you see the sleeve on that? The other, the person that touched his face? It was not the sister's sleeve. Children who don't tell the truth end up in limbo. But I read the other day that limbo is only for children who haven't been baptized. And I have. Uh-oh. <laughs> What the f is with that girl? Fast asleep. What about Anne? She's still on the stairs? Oh, yes, ma'am. She's being all creepy on the steps. I've had to put up with the noise of Lydia running around above my head. She's, she's been hurtling backwards and forwards as if there were three of her. She's in the garden. Yeah, she's freaking outside, right? <laughs> I love haunted houses. <laughs> Anna, tell me who's making that noise. Victor. I can't tell you, Mommy. Tell me if there is someone upstairs. There, in that junk room. I wish we would have watched Friday the 13th. Hello? Mummy, you're letting the light in. Is it just like a bunch of mirrors in there? Like what is in that room? Any screen watcher. Where did they go? They just came past here. Over there, over there. Oh, and down there as well. They can, she can see them all. This is the father, this is the mother. This is Victor, and this is the old woman. What do these numbers stand for? That's the number of times I've seen them. I've seen the old woman the most. Oh, God. Mrs. Nuss, go and call Mr. Tuttle. Tell him that we have to search the whole house immediately before it gets dark. They are ghosts. You are not going to find it them. It scares me. It's as if she's not looking at you, but she can see you. And she's always around, saying, come with me. No, Anne, don't lie to me. Honestly, it smells. You can't shoot a ghost. Anything but holy. They pull on our windows. <laughs> <laughs> God, if only old timey photos weren't creepy enough already, right? <laughs> the death book. The book of all the dead people. Oh boy. Oh, it is a 
photograph album, ma'am. No, but look, they're all asleep. They're all dead. They're not asleep, ma'am. They're dead. Take photographs of the dead in the hopes that their souls would go on living through the portraits. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't do that, though. Oh, boy. Get rid of it. I don't want it in the house. That doesn't sound like it's the greatest funny. idea either, right? Get rid of it. My employers moved to London. They came here less and less, it being so out of the way, like. So gradually the house just became empty. Also the ghosts. I probably drew, pushed them out. People don't just stop talking. These things are always the result of some sort of trauma. The ghosts, probably. Something must have happened to her. I think I will go to bed. I'll never be able to get up in the morning. Off you go. Something she's not telling her. Like Lydia was the little girl in one of those pictures or something. Victor is her brother. She escapes the witch. Is he dead or like did she kill him? <laughs> Just very concerned about her mental health status here. The pianist. Sounded quite beautiful. I mean, wonderful piano playing. Uh oh. Someone else there. And it wasn't human. There is something in this house. Mrs. Mills must know something. Not at rest. <sighs> Can we get some sage? Can we get some sage? I think that sometimes the world of the dead gets mixed up with the world of the living. <sighs> There isn't always an answer. Maybe sometimes the wires get crossed. Morning, ma'am. I need you to search the whole garden for gravestones. Yes, ma'am. I need to know if there was a family buried here. Do you think it's safe to let her go? Oh, don't worry, the fog won't let her get very far. Fog, of course. And when, when do you think we should bring all this out into the open? All in good time, Mr. Tuttle. All in good time. What's going on? I have no idea. Do they know the ghosts? Absolutely. They probably worked for them. They've probably been working for them for hundreds of years or something stupid, right? Like, it's a real pea super out there, huh? Oh no. Oh yes, the fog. Oh gosh. Is this like a thing? This is a thing. Now's when you curl up in a ball and just cry. I don't know. Is that her husband? Well, that was lucky. But is he, though? Every night I pray for this. Making God. Is he a ghost? But where have you been all this time? Out there. Looking for my home. He's just been lost in the fog. <laughs> He's just been lost in the fog the whole time. Sometimes I bleed. What now? What's happening? 
He said, sometimes I bleed. He's wounded. Has he just been lost in the fog this whole time? How are my little ones? Daddy! Okay, so not a ghost. <laughs> Mommy, when people die in the war, where do they go? It depends. On whether they fought on the side of the goodies or the baddies. Yeah. How do you know who the goodies and the baddies are? <sighs> That's enough questions. Eat your feet. Color of the shirt they're wearing. <laughs> Can I say something? No! Why not? Because... because you can't! Anne, stop breathing like that. Victor's coming out. You heard me, stop it! Right, you go to your room. Go to your room, there's no dessert for you today! Sooner or later, She'll see them. Then everything will be different. Oh, God, please, no. There are going to be some big surprises. There are going to be changes. Oh, no. Big surprises? What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> Do you think her husband suspects anything? Who are these caretakers? I just don't understand. Monsieur, would you like to dance? I'd love to. Why does a girl dancing scare you so much? Uh, yeah. Don't know. Why can't you ever do as you're told? Oh god. It's the old lady. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. What's the matter? Where is my daughter? <laughs> I am your daughter. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. So she's the witch, and she makes the parents kill their kids. Her? Yeah. Or she makes the parents go mad until they kill themselves, and then she keeps the kids? I don't know. Why did you fight? It was a dog. She's drugging her. I don't know You're being drugged. What are these? Hmm. The tablets for your migraine, ma'am. The ones you always take. Good call. And told me everything. I just came back to say goodbye to my wife and children. Now I must go. You're not going, do you hear me? You left us once already. You can't go. She's going to slip out in the middle of the night. Uncool. But was he ever there? The kids saw him. Yeah, that's true. Uh oh. Ah! Oh my God. Do they find out they're not actually allergic to the sun? No! No! <gasps> Forced to take them to the basement? I have noticed, ma'am, there's no need for you to raise your voice. Oh, Mr. Tuttle, I was just on the point of calling you. Did you know that someone has taken all the curtains? Oh, dear. Why should anyone want to take all the curtains? Oh, dear. 
Give me your keys. I want your keys now. Uh oh. I know what you want. Give me the keys. Give them to me. And now get out of here. I think I've reached the end of my tether. What about you? Oh, yes. Definitely. If Mummy finds out, you're in for it. Yes, yes, yes. See you later. What's in the attic? Nicholas, Jesus. Get away from them. Don't come any closer. How are you going to kill people that already did? Don't trouble yourself, man. Tuberculosis finished us off. Yeah, just get out of their house, right? Like, at some point, it's just like, not worth it. Not, not worth it. Don't separate you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. I'm trying to make you understand. Understand what? About the house. About the new situation. We must all learn to live together, the living and the dead. <sighs> if you're dead, leave us in peace! You got another, another, another group in there too, though. There's a whole clan of people in there, I think. Do you think they will? The intruders. They took the curtains down. <laughs> oh, yes, I assure you it was them. Sooner or later, they'll find you. Oh, God. Mommy said we shouldn't separate. I can't leave her on her own. Stop breathing like that. It's Victor. Stop breathing. Glad you hear it. There's someone there. Yeah, it's the creepy old lady. <gasps> No, 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 don't go with them. Oh, God. Nicholas? There's nothing we can do now. You'll have to go upstairs and talk to them. About what? What are we, we going to talk about? Marcus? Not a fan. Not a fan, Marcus. Bust your ass in there. Tell me what happened. Why are you crying, children? What happened in this room? What did your mother do to you? Something about a pillow. Is that how she killed you? With a pillow. She didn't kill us. Children, if you're dead, why do you remain in this house? We're not dead. <gasps> why oh, do you remain no. in this We're house? We're not dead. We're not dead. 
made contact. All three? Apparently, yes. Quite interesting, don't you think? Interesting? Well, I was scared out of my wits. Me too. Me too. So far, we have handled this matter your way. That's quite enough. Think of our son. There's nothing wrong with Victor. Yes, there is. He has nightmares. He says he has seen that girl, and even this lady has been possessed by her. Let us leave this house. All right. We will leave tomorrow morning. You were playing with the pillows as if nothing had happened. And I thought, our Lord in his great mercy was giving me another chance. Young Lydia said the very same thing she realized the three of us were dead and that was the last time she ever spoke but I couldn't tell you that before now now sometimes we'll sense them other times we won't but that's the way it's always been <laughs> oh my lanta did not see that coming yeah. what a twist <laughs> <laughs> they were the ghosts they were this that was like a sixth sense sort of weird mm -hmm. they're dead the whole time yeah. wow so cool to, I mean, not cool, but interesting to see it from that perspective yeah. and how that acceptance or challenge, yeah, the, the challenge of maybe accepting your own death mm -hmm. would have to be explained to you or <laughs> you wouldn't know. And then it's almost like a weird multiverse yeah. sort of situation. Sometimes the ghosts don't know they're ghosts, right? Yeah. It's kind of showing the, their perspective of yeah. the haunting experience. Crazy. Right? Mm -hmm. Crazy. Because, it, I mean, interesting that they would, you know, it would be scary for them as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, it makes sense that it would be if they didn't know they were dead. Yeah. But they would be like, who's haunting my house? <laughs> <laughs> All the while, they're the ones haunting. Mm -hmm. Oh, just mind blown yeah. you thought the caretakers were the bad guys i was so confused and they're just I was the like, ones that are already aware of what's going on i was like there. i like her she seems loving but why is she so creepy and they're probably like they're definitely like what is the deal with these people and then you're like oh god they're dead they're the ghosts and then you're like oh wait you kind of guessed that they were there was something up with them like they were ghosts or something yeah absolutely right? i thought something was weird but i just couldn't put my finger on it and then i was like if they're ghosts why do i kind of like them but but that's why because mm -hmm. they were trying to help, help. them accept yeah, yeah. get them, let them know they were trying to help them understand but oh man then the whole fog thing made sense then too like she can't <laughs> the fog will bring her back uh, makes sense yeah, she can't. what about the husband so had he, he was died dead, later yeah. and he came to visit before passing on to maybe heaven could be stuck could be he came to visit kind of or something like they were talking yeah kind of yep yeah like he was there learned was, about how they he, died that was and when then he passed in the war and then he finally he went home to say goodbye before going on to pass it on to his could be because there's four hells yeah right they talk about the different layers of it all right man that was <laughs> that was crazy mm -hmm. good pick Marcus, I hated a lot of it because it was I was scared, but the whole concept of it was pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what should people comment on? Did you see that coming? <laughs> right, like. <laughs> did you see the twist coming? Like, did anybody know? Because that was weird. Mm -hmm. I I that's it. That's like, did anyone else see that coming? It's kind of sad that she killed her own kids, though. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that sucks really bad. Kind of sounds like she probably went mad. She probably, what, learned maybe of her husband's fate or something like that. And yeah. Couldn't bear with it. Something. Killed them and killed herself. Yeah. Do you, do you think the 
caretakers left after she killed them all, and that was them up and disappearing as they she yeah. killed them, and then they just left because yeah. there's nothing they to do. They don't know why the caretakers left. It yeah. was them dying and right. the caretakers. You think it was that, or you think the caretakers left and then she went mad? No, I think her death is why the care, okay. uh, her servants. Because I can right? imagine they just vanished. And going a little cuckoo yeah. if you were just trapped in your house with kids that could not see the light of day. Yeah. So you're stuck in darkness. You can't leave. And it looked like that seance that they were doing at the end was like in the fifties or sixties or something like that. It was a little bit later, ten or fifteen years later. Could be, yeah. Based on their their clothing style, it looked fifty-ish, fifty-ish to me. So oh, the, I know. In the vehicle. Let us know if you figured out the twist before the end giveaway. Yeah. Or when did you figure it out? If you did, I was waiting for you to see if you figured it out, but she never did. She finally got stumped. Anything else? Like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out for the next one. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want to be like Marcus and pick a movie we have to watch. Or if you want early access, full length commentaries, access to polls to help us pick what we watch next and more, the link's down below. Check it out. Until next time. Have a good one. Bye.